Thousands of commuters left stranded as taxi operators have been protesting in Qadakha in the Eastern Cape. Over 500 taxi owners and drivers have been burning tires, causing uh, a lot of destruction that started yesterday. In fact, they claim to be owed COVID-19 TERS funding. Meanwhile, the situation remains tense in Harrismith. Angry commuters there demanding better service delivery. We've got reporters in both areas. Uh, Ronald Masinda in the Nelson Mandela Bay area and Mangoba Mtkunu. Uh, Ronald, good evening. I'm going to start with you. You're in Kladerha. Uh, what's been happening today? What is the current situation with the taxi strike? Ronald, can you hear me? I'm just uh, trying to get an update for you on what's been happening in Kladerha today. All right, let me, let's, uh, let's see if we can get hold of Mangoba Mkunu. Uh, Mangoba, can you hear me? Yes, indeed, Sally, we can hear you. All right, tell us what's been happening. You're in Harry Smith, I understand. Indeed, Sally, it's been another tense situation here in Harrismith as uh, protesters here and residents uh, here took to the streets for the third consecutive uh, time, Sally, and uh, they are complaining over issues of service delivery in this particular community. And among some of the issues that have been raised by community members are the issues of uh, water supply as well as electricity supply. They say that uh, the electricity in this particular area is not reliable. There is uh, something that is known as load reduction that has been implemented by the Maluti Apofung municipality. And this sees uh, several houses or several parts of uh, this uh, municipality being uh, uh, cut off uh, from uh, electricity supply. And uh, residents saying that uh, this is unbecoming. They are saying that they don't want uh, this load reduction to continue. But uh, we did see uh, residents earlier on say they trying to make their way to the entry freeway to block the entry freeway. Of course, they've been saying that they want to shut down the entry freeway to prevent uh, trucks and other traffic from passing in that particular direction. So it's been running battles uh, that we've seen this afternoon between the police as well as residents who are insisting that they're going to continue with their shutdown until their demands are met. We did try to make contact with the municipality, but at this particular point, Salim, they have not given any response to the particular issues that have been raised by this community. But the, the community members themselves insisting, Sally, that they're going to continue with this protest until someone comes to address them, they are now calling on the office of the president to come uh, to hear their grievances. And so, as things stand, Sally, the residents here are saying that they are going to continue. In fact, as I speak to you now, Sally, from where I am, I can still see uh, fires that have been ignited here. And I can tell you that even yesterday, the protest in this area went up well into the night. So these residents saying that they are going to continue with their protest. All right, so that's the situation in Harry Smith with that service delivery concern. Ronald, I understand we've been able to make contact with you in Kladerha in the interim, uh, and that is the situation around the taxi strike. Ronald, I'm trying once more. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, Sally, and apologies for the audio breakage. But uh, it seems like uh, the taxi strike will continue uh, tomorrow, Sally, as taxi operators and taxi owners have said that they will meet uh, at the township here in Kabeha at around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, and they are expected to mobilize and go to several other townships across the Nelson Mandela Bay metro. But one of the biggest issues at this stage, Sally, is the issue that they've raised <laughs> about not receiving <laughs> UIF and TES uh, COVID-19 relief funding. They are saying that the taxi associations have not given them the, the amounts that are due to them. Several taxi owners, uh, taxi operators that we spoke to said they, they've even gone as far as going to the Department of Labor themselves. With the Department of Labor saying that according to their records, taxi operators who are complaining of not receiving their funds have received the money. So many of them are calling for not only for the Premier of the province to intervene in this matter, but also uh, the National uh, Minister, the Transport Minister, Fikile Mbalula, to also address them with uh, many, the many concerns that they have. And what we've seen today were very ugly scenes of uh, many people stopped on the roads, uh, taxi uh, owners or taxi operators that we spoke to said that they were not targeting uh, innocent people, they were targeting 
people within the taxi industry, people who use this opportunity while their taxes were grounded to sort of get their own uh, com commuters into their own taxes. So they are saying that no taxi whatsoever, even small cabs, uh, even Avanzas that are quite popular across South African townships should be operating in this instance. They are saying that this uh, strike will end uh, probably on Friday. So uh, cold comfort for many households, many people relying on taxis to go to work and to school. And across the areas that we travel to, we mm. saw quite a number of malls also shut down as well as schools. So this has also affected many people, not only in the taxi industry, but also people in society. We also know that the Nelson Mandela Bay uh, Metro also released a statement saying that it would it also affects their own services because uh, many of the issues on the ground in terms of the services that are needed to fix uh, water leaks yeah. and electrical services uh, cannot be done given the volatile situation in many of these townships. We also heard from a taxi driver who asked for us to hide his identity and this is what he had to say earlier. Me, I didn't get nothing. I'm still waiting for that money. But when I, I went to the strike yesterday, some of the guys in charge for the, for the, for the association, he said must wait for the Friday. Someone can come from East London to tell what is going on. But I'm still waiting for that Friday now. What are they saying, uh, the taxi associations? Have they uh, reported back to you? As well as Santago, has Santago also reached out to taxi associations or taxi operators uh, to perhaps try and uh, resort this issue or resolve this issue? I didn't get any information, information from Santaco. Only the guys I was talking to uh, the chairman of the association and uh, all that uh, guys is in charge for that association. I didn't get anyone from Santaco and other position.